2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the East Coast Classic is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam and Rich, no wins for this golfer, but they've been very consistent all season, keeping themselves inside that all important top 25. Absolutely, they've been solid all year long and it doesn't look like we will see them on the Corn Ferry Tour next year just because they should progress to the PGA Tour next year. No doubts about it in my mind. Well, I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. Well, this should find the short grass and this shot from about 150 yards out. Going with the eight iron here. We need this one to bounce right. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. Good look at a birdie here. Oh, hello. Welcome to the course. Oh, thank you very much. I'll have another. Getting off to a great start at this event. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So yes, birdie on the first, great job. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. Nice birdie in the last hole for a change. First one of the day. They needed it desperately. Now, next hole, looking for more. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Seems to have chosen the three wood. This is all over it like a tropical disease. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. You've left yourself a long way between the holes, so let's get this one close. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. What an opportunity to make a birdie. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. He's currently in a share of top spot. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Going with the six iron here. Oh, terrific approach and a chance for birdie here at the third. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. This one's looking good. And that will drop in for birdie. And after that hole, he's no longer sharing top spot. He's at the summit all alone. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. That should find the fairway. Coming off a string of three birdies. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Or oh, tidy looking shot that. It's just about three feet away. It's half a chance of being hold, this one. 
Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. That sets a positive tone for the player, doesn't it? Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Not a bad line, this one. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. And hitting yet another green here in regulation. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Puddle drop. Well done. Now two shots up after that one. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Oh, well played. Lovely shot. Got to say, I can't see them not making birdie here, Luke. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. And with that, he'll move to five under par. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Wow, that was just striped. This one from about 160 yards out. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. Birdie at the last. This for another. Trying to get to 6-under now with this putt. good to cozy it up to the hole on a long putt, isn't it? And they'll walk away with a par on this one. So, after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Currently in first position. Par 
referees always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Going with a three wood here. Yeah, well played. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Right by the hole. And that should secure the par. Well done. Currently at minus five now for the day. We are at the final hole on the front nine. That is right down the sprinkler line. Second shot here on the ninth hole. Nicely done. And here we are with the third shot. Five feet coming up to the cup. It's on a good line. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will move him to six under par. Here we go, Rich. The back nine on Sunday. What are your thoughts so far? Always great to be in the lead, Luke. There's no doubt about it. But let's face it, lots of golf yet to be played. Let's see how this player handles it. That one's heading down Broadway. Second shot here at the 10th. Going with the 9-9, nine -nine, I think. And he's safely on the green with that shot. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? It's about a 23-foot putt from here, guys. Was on a good line. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Yeah. 
And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Here we have a par five. Looks like they put a good pass on that one. Time for the second shot at the 11th. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Putting for Eagle here. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top ten all day long because of it. This one looking really good. Now that's a good putt to hold any day of the week. And that will take him to eight under. And let's have one more look at that shot. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Here they are, full of confidence on the next tee, coming off the eagle. Time for the second shot at the 12. Going with the pitching wedge here. Not bad. He has about 14 feet to the hole. Oh, just missed. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Currently three strokes up after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Opting for the six iron. That's not the outcome they were after. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Let's see if we can make this. And keep the par on the card. Not a bad line, this. Yeah, you'll take that. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Well struck from around 180 yards out. Oh. 
opting for the five iron. Should find the green here. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. 14 feet to the cup. This one's dialed in. Ouch, that hurts. Just three feet to the cup. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Sitting at minus eight for the day. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Mm -mm. A thing of beauty. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. <laughs> Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. That was a gallant attempt. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Okay, let's head to the next. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you handle the 16th hole. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Opting for the three wood. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. And this is an extremely long putt. They might even have to hinge on this one. Big chance here. And you hold it. What a monster. Why not take another look at that effort? Our current leader is enjoying a six-stroke advantage. Well, that's huge momentum they're bringing to this hole. Coming off the eagle, time to hit another good drive. Well, that's beautifully judged. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. Oh, 
This one's looking good. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a punt to hold. Still in the lead now after that hole. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18. That should find the cut stuff. Looks to be going with the six iron. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for Purdy at the last. This putt about 11 feet in distance. It's got a chance. Gets that one to go down and that'll end the day's work. So there you have it. In the house, in top spot after the opening round. Everyone likes to get off to a fast start, and they certainly have. Lots of good playing out there. One round to go. This could be a very nervy final round. Lots of players. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam, and on behalf of all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now.